We realize our homeless feeding and drug rehabilitation programs don't always match eye to eye with the dreams and vision of the city planners here in Leesburg. I thought the movie was had a lot of really inspiring moments to it. Um, I want to know what kind of excited you when you first read the script. Well, the story is tremendous. Cecil Johnson's real story and the fact that it's a true story. It's so inspiring and so wonderful. And it's the kind of project that I want to be associated with. And and Pastor Cliff Lee, who I play in the film, that is maybe the nicest man on the planet. He's such a great guy. Um, I don't know if I did him justice by playing him or not, but uh, but he is such a great, great guy. And um I'd love to be a, a part of a film that has such a great, wonderful, inspiring message. And he really was fighting for like what really it means to be a Christian, right? I mean, like giving to the poor and helping the needy. Um, why Why was there such opposition with like even other church members? Well, a lot of people will say, you know, that's what we do. That's what we're supposed to do, but they don't really want it to happen in their neighborhood. And that's that's the part of, you know, the, you know sort of being an elevated Christian. I guess, you know, no, we, don't want, we don't want to mess with the story. It's great that we're going to help the poor, but let's help them over there. Well, no, Cliff wanted to buy the Good Samaritan Inn, turn it into a homeless shelter. The homeless uh, explosion at that time in Florida, was it, that was sort of the epicenter. And he was doing that right thing as a Christian that you should do. And and he met with that opposition because a lot of people don't want to get their hands dirty. Um, they don't want to, they felt like, you know, some people said, you know, it, it, it encourages you take in one case, stray, one stray cat, and all of a sudden there's 12 stray cats. And there's some val validity to their arguments in, in, in that sense. And I can see why people would say that. At the same time, you know, if you're going to call yourself a Christian and you really want to do good for people, that's what you do. And Cliff's faith, it gets tested in the film quite a bit, <laughs> but uh, it, his faith was very strong and he knew what he was doing was right. And and it's wonderful to see that the community came together. And I don't want no spoiler alerts here, but the community comes together. For those of you who haven't seen this yet, uh, they come together and support in a way that's that's that I liken to like it's a wonderful life. I think it's phenomenal. And when that happens, it's so humbling and it's almost it's just it's 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 almost embarrassing, you know, that it, everyone turns and then you're like, wow, I where I didn't feel that support when I was making this decision by myself and having my conversations with God about doing the right thing here. I know I'm supposed to be doing the right thing. Help me out. And then everybody does it. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of awesome. It's a God thing, as he says in the movie. So, and, and because this is a real story, were you, were you able to go to any of the centers or um, is that, you know, where you guys shot? Was that one of the centers or? We shot at the center. Okay. We shot at the Good Samaritan Inn. We shot right there. It's all right there. Um, it was incredible. And I'm like, this is the good, this is the end right here. Okay. We're walking around and looking around and we shot the real shots where he's walking around looking at, at the good Samaritan Inn and at these places and within the center. And I was like, wow, this is, we don't have to pretend, you know, we're here. So that's one less thing we have to pretend about. And, and it was great. You know, I'd see Cliff, uh, you know, I'm like, I'm doing a good job being you today. Um, uh, trying to be you. He's much taller than me. I couldn't, I couldn't play the tall part very well. Uh, he's like six, four, he's a big guy. Uh, but it, it, it was wonderful. And we'd meet other members of the, of the church community that, that we're, that we're playing. I'm like, wait a minute, you're him. Oh, and then we got to all get together, which I thought was really fun. Uh, and meet all of our, our real people. I got to meet Cliff early on, but, um, you know, obviously Cecil Johnson has passed away. So you couldn't see his TC Stallings with him, but he got to be with his wife. And it, it was just, it, it, it's a, it really felt like a big community and a family coming together, making the film. It was, it was wonderful. So um, it was a great experience all the way around. So those other stories, um, those other stories were true stories as well. The, uh, you know, um, Cecil's character and everything that was, those were true stories. hundred percent true. And, and Cecil's character to me is, obviously the most compelling story. It's incredible. And TC Stallings he does a great job. I mean, he just, he's phenomenal. And I knew in the read through, I was like, wow, look out here comes TC and he's, and he's, and he's bringing the hammer because uh, it's such a, it's such a big role. It's such a, a it's, he, he does such a great job. I'm just, uh, I, I love his performance. Yeah, he did a great job and he's a great dude. You know, he's got a great heart. So he does. Yeah. So hoping, you know, 
Kind of because the message of a little bit in there is, you know, as Christians, we need to do this. What do you hope, you know, Christians who go see it, you know, what are you hoping that they get from it? The same, the same message, right? Yeah, I do. I really want them to get the same message. You know, we look at it now here in California, we have half the nation's homeless here in California and we're not doing the right things to help them. Christian or not Christian, our government is not doing the right thing. And if, and if, it, and if it, if it means, you know, reaching out through, through uh, churches and things. Wonderful. Do that. Um, ch- churches will do that on their own, but the government should be doing much more. And, and hopefully, you know, if it, if it's not, if, if it doesn't change, you know, other Christians and call them into action, if it gets people who aren't Christian to do the right thing, and that is doing the right human thing. Um, we, it, it, it's a real problem. I mean, you see it here every single time you go for a drive anywhere in, in Southern California, it's, it's, it's horrific. Uh, and it's kind of being encouraged in a weird way um, by our by our government. And it's just it's not the right thing to do. Um, give people a hand up. You don't have to always give them a hand out, but give them a hand up. Give them a path to. And we have the we have the funds and, and the avail, the ability to do it here in California. We just we're just not doing the right thing. Exactly what the movie is saying is what we should do, be doing for people, helping them to get better, to get back on their feet, helping them to be able to get their own job to 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 be on their own right and to- it's the hand up instead of the hand out yeah we're just giving them hey, just, just don't do anything just stay stay on the dole don't do anything we're not gonna you don't need a path to get better or do anything better we'll, we'll give you needles so you don't you know spread whatever this i mean things like that doesn't that's not you're not helping uh and you look at Cecil's story and you go wow okay there's a man who found who found everything and lived a wonderful you can just see him the character he just beams with happiness um, and fulfillment, and it's great. And, and there are so many out there. You, I, I mean, you, I drive by them all the time, and you see them, and I look in their faces, and I think, man, what is what does that guy need? What does that woman need? How did they get here? And how can we help lift them up? And I, I, hopefully, that'll be the message that other people get from the movie. And also, um, there's a great message with the journalist who's going through questions of faith. Um, can you talk more about her her message? With that one. Sean Young plays the the journalist. I forget the character's name. Brandy, Brandy Michaels. I got it in front of me. Um, and Sean is uh, she's phenomenal, and she uh, she <laughs> she can certainly play the uh, the sarcasm and things of that nature, which which her character does. Uh, but then finds the heart in what's what's really happening and um, her own struggles that she's going with going through while well, just being downsized and moved from a big paper to our, our little podunk area in Leesburg and then having to cover, you know, feel good church stories, which is exactly what she doesn't want to do. And, and then having a brother who is having sort of the same problems as Cecil, but on a different level. Um, and so it's really wonderful that for her, her story of, of being able to give her brother the help, the hand up that he needs and the guidance that he needs and the support that he needs uh, after watching what happens with Cecil and, 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 the story of, of, of our, of our church. I mean, I think it's, it's, it's wonderful. And Sean does a great, she does a great job. So when you're doing these faith-based movies, does it help um, 